Today we start a brand new book in our Daily in the Word program, the book of Leviticus. Now, the story of Leviticus picks up where Exodus left off. The people of Israel were still camped at the foot of Mount Sinai, and they remained at Mount Sinai throughout the period of time covered by the book of Leviticus. In chapter one, let me read verses one and two. It says, the Lord called Moses from the tabernacle and said to him, give the following instructions to the people of Israel. When you present an animal as an offering to the Lord, you may take it from your herd of cattle or your flock of sheep and goats. Now, in the last several chapters of Exodus, we see the construction of the tabernacle. From our reading today in chapter one of Leviticus, we can infer that the tabernacle was now complete and the sacrificial system could now be put into place. And here's how this book unfolds, the book of Leviticus. Chapters one through seven outline the offerings required of both the people and the priesthood. Chapters eight through 10 describe the consecration of Aaron and his sons as priest. Chapters 11 through 16 are the prescriptions for the various types of uncleanness. Chapters 17 through 25 are God's guidelines to his people for practical holiness. And the last two chapters describe the blessings or the consequences that accompany either keeping or neglecting God's commands. Now the primary themes of Leviticus are holiness and atonement. That is the reparation or the payment or the satisfaction that is needed due to the debt of sin. See, the book of Leviticus is a powerful book of study for us today and that much of the practices of worship picture, in many ways, the person and the work of Jesus. Hebrews chapter 10 tells us that the law is only a shadow of the good things that are coming. Meaning all that we see in the book of Leviticus is a representation of the ultimate sacrifice, Jesus whose sacrifice would be once for all time for those who would believe in him. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, For God made Christ, who never sinned, to be the offering of our sins so that we could be made right with God through Christ. See, the book of Leviticus is a foreshadow of all that Jesus has done for us to bring us into full atonement and make us holy before God. And as we read this book together, may we take joy that in Jesus we're made holy and that in Jesus we are fully atoned for our sins.